As an archaeologist and an educator, I get to share my passion for the past and discovery with my students. Archaeology is dynamic, engaging, relevant, and innovative. It connects the past to the present, helping students understand how the world around us has changed into what we see today. It's also a way to draw students into the class because they can find something that excites them. Whatever their interest, it can help to illuminate the larger story of humanity. We're providing the opportunities for individuals who want to get involved in this work to have a formalized introduction and means to really look and take charge of their history. It shows us that everyone leaves traces of their life behind, even in the minutia of everyday life. Um, but those traces help us to tell the story of humankind. That's what archaeologists do. It sparks a sense of wonder and can touch on all different learning styles. There's a tactile element to holding artifacts or replicas of artifacts. Students can move around, measure, draw, put pieces together, work in teams, and they can hear history through oral traditions. Archaeology happens everywhere, including the places where your students live. They can see how archaeologists work all over the world, in the field, in the classroom, in labs, in museums, and even underwater. But it's important to share this sense of community and curiosity and history right there at home. Archaeology is interdisciplinary. It can apply to any K-12 subject and connect to many different standards. Archaeology can be a vehicle to teach history, civics, geography, earth and life sciences, math, art, and new technologies. It emphasizes the importance of strong analytical and writing skills for all students to build interpretations and share their discoveries. It's a true renaissance discipline. Over the course of a semester teaching Mesoamerican archaeology, I know some days where we dig into the structure of ancient Maya writing. Some days we'd explore NASA satellite imagery to try to find new sites. And some days we'd draw cross-cultural comparison to civilizations around the world. My specialty is foodways archaeology. Food is a reflection of who we are. And in some cases, it's how we view the world around us or how we want the world to view us. We're able to introduce students from HBCUs to archaeology to in a way that they oftentimes have never been introduced to it before. Most historically black colleges and universities do not have anthropology departments, let alone if they do have them, rarely do they have um, classes that are taught on archaeology. Archaeologists reconstruct everyday lives through the little things people created and left behind decades, centuries, or millennia ago. Each student is part of that human story, too. We can look to the past to see the end process of bigger social and political movements and see how people in the past dealt with those. Teaching archaeology inspires the next generation of archaeologists. My students have a chance to see themselves in me. I'm a living example of the type of scientist that they can also become. They might think to themselves, hmm, that's something I can do and that I'm interested in. We're changing the face of archaeology and we're doing it from a ground up perspective. When I teach children, I've seen their faces light up when they realize that they've discovered a new way to understand a subject that they otherwise struggle with. There's usually a eureka moment that crosses the face of a student when they relate to the material. That's the most gratifying moment as an educator. 